boys and girls. This is Miss Diane from the Elk Grove Village Public Library. Good to see everybody. I'm going to be doing an experiment called Lemon Suds Eruptions. And I had just done a couple flannel boards about lemons and suds. So here we go. What you're going to need, boys and girls, are, is soft, clear soap, just like this. Hold it up to the camera, just like that and you're going to need baking soda, water, I have a pitcher of water, measuring cups if you want to measure, although the measurements with this is pretty forgiving, and food coloring, and something called citric acid. We're using citric acid instead of vinegar for this experiment. Citric acid is a substance used that is found in lemons and in oranges. You could use lemon juice for this instead of the citric acid, but the reaction won't be as um, big. Uh, you can get citric acid in the canning section at Walmart or Target. You can also get it online with Amazon. They also have it at Michael's and at when you're making a soap and soap bombs. So it is found very easily in many of these places. So the first thing that we're going to do, boys and girls, I'm going to just move this so you can see. I have four cups set out in this little sensory bin because you do want to contain the foams. So I have it set up just like this. And I'm going to pour one fourth cup of soap into each of these containers. Now, like I said, the measurements are pretty forgiving, but I will put down the exact measurements when, when I post this video. All right, so now each one of those gets some soap and then you're going to add warm water to each of the containers. So I'm just going to pour warm water in there, warm water in there, warm water in there, and then I'm going to stir it up. All right, so we have four containers of soapy water. And I also, if you'd like, you can use a straw. I have these sticks. You can use a spoon. You can use a skewer. And I'm going to just stir it up just a little bit to get a little bit soapy and sudsy. Soapy and sudsy. Okay, now the next thing that you're going to do is you will have set out your baking soda and your citric acid. It's kind of like a salt light substance. And you're going to put two scoops, two tablespoons of the baking soda into your soapy water. So one, two, one, two. One, two. Might have to get a little bit more. One. I might have to get a little bit more baking soda, but we'll go ahead and do that. And now, if you'd like to add your colors to make it very colorful, I'll add maybe three or four squirts of red. One, two, three, four. Okay. And I have green. One, two, three, four. I have blue. One, two, three, four. And yellow. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is add the citric acid which was this i just have it in this container it's a salt like substance like i said and you're going to add two tablespoons of this into your soapy water colorful soapy water one and then you're going to start to stir it and the the foam is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and it's going to get rise and rise and rise and you can keep stirring and stirring and stirring and it gets very foamy. There you go, it gets so foamy. And then I'm going to do the other ones, but let me pick this up so that you can see. There it looks. And if you keep stirring it, the foamier it gets. I'm gonna to add to the other colors and we'll see if we have a rainbow looking. So I'm gonna do one and two. And you can keep adding this and making more and more foam. One, two to the green, a one, two to the blue, and I'm gonna stir and stir and stir and make it crazy. Here you go. It's gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger and it's gonna keep foaming and foaming and foaming and foaming. 
and keep holding. I'm gonna so that you can see it. And now see, I'm already spilling over, but that's why I have the container and I have a towel. And if you just keep stirring and stirring and stirring and stirring, you're gonna get more and more eruptions and you can add more and you can make more eruptions. And it is a very fun and clean um, experiment. And the reaction, the chemical reaction makes it very cold. When the citric acid hits the baking soda, so sudsy water, it, may, it creates the big, big foam. I hope you enjoyed this experiment and we will see you again very soon. And keep stirring.